Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal Easy Education. In this session, we are going to learn Chapter 3, Database Management System, Part 2. Content of the session is ACID Properties. Before entering to the chap session, we will recap what is DBMS. Stands for Database Management System. Actually, DBMS is equal to Database plus Management System. Then, what is the database? It's a collection of data. Then, what is the Management System? It is a set of programs to store and retrieve those data. So, you know already what is the data. Data is a, a collection of related information required by any one of the department as we know in our daily life. A school may require data, a college may require data, even a government department, even a companies, whoever need a collection of data, they are collecting and they are, it, the data are managed by the database management system effectively. So we are going to learn how the database management is managing these data effectively. So database is a collection of several components like tables, index, stored procedures and so on. Let's see what is a table first. Table is a two-dimensional structure that contains several columns and rows. So table is a collection of columns and rows. And it contains all the data in form of several records. Let's see an example. See, there is a table for the student. S underscore ID. It's a student ID, student name, student age, student class, student section. Here the data are given one by one. The horizontal thing is said to be a row and the vertical thing is said to be the column. So here how many columns? One, two, three, four, five columns. Then how many rows? One, two, three, four rows are here. So totally this structure is said to be a table or a relation. Simply database is a collection of table. Then what is a table? Table is a collection of rows and columns with the related information. Now come to our properties. ACID, atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability. These are the four properties that a database management should have. What are they? What is the meaning for that? Atomicity. Atomicity follows the thumb rule, all or nothing, while updating the data in database. This update operation is called as transaction and it either commits successful updating or abuts. That means updating failure. What is the meaning? Consider there is an account, there is a person with the account A and there is a, another person B. If the A is transferring amount to the person B and the amount in the account should be debited and the amount should be credited. Is it clear? A account learn amount B Abdina is a transaction. Up in an account A la amount debit account B la amount credit This is a successful transaction. Or reason la either error on the chapina in get debit to a and credit to a So Senja Yelatim character sayeno. Say Elena, Yedu may say a good. In case account Yel a debit idiche and account bill a credit a hella. Up dina is over a problem. Failure system narto. So, first property is atomicity. The transaction must be successful. That means all, everything, and all the end it should be completed. Or else nothing should be done there. This is said to be atomicity. I hope children you will understand this. Next one, consistency. Consistency ensures that the changes in data value to be constant. What is the meaning for this? Sometimes there will be concurrent transaction. Then that is said to be concurrency control and locking. When the same data is shared among multiple users, Proper access control is needed and privilege of changing the application's data 
is controlled through locking. Let's see an example. You will understand clearly. There is account A, B and C. For example, account A is transferring the amount rupees 100 to B and again rupees 100 to C. The balance of A is 400. Okay. If the account person A is transferring the amount to B and C means what should be happen? Let's say these transactions run concurrently. That means the person is doing the uh, transaction at a time. And both the transactions reach rupees 400 balance. In that case, the final balance of A would be rupees 300 instead of rupees 200. This is wrong. If the transaction were to run in isolation, then the second transaction would have read the current balance 300 once the first transaction went successful. That means, person A, 100 rupees a being account to kum, thirum or 100 rupees a seeing account to kum transfer pundran. Suppose in the render transaction, no, concurrent a nadaka modu. In case, Puller computer system 400 lend B ki po mo 100 a minus panita 300. C ki 100 po mo 100 a minus panita 300. Updin result to put the total system of failure. Ilia actually 400 lend 100 plus 100 200 po chana balance and 200 the kamkin. Up in the mari situation la in an adako of dina this is said to be concurrent. Transaction that time the first transaction is executed, then the next transaction is executed. It is allocated automatically by the database management system itself. This is said to be consistency. Next one isolation. Isolation property is needed during concurrent transaction. When multiple users do the transaction by accessing same object at the same time, the transaction is known as concurrent transaction. To prevent the conflict in database update, for every pair of transaction, one transaction should start execution only when the other finished execution. For number first part of my slider. So, a database management system consistency of follow up on the isolation property. Rendu interlink ACID properties Mottama DBMS follow up Next, durability. Once a transaction completes successfully, the changes it has made into the database should be permanent even if there is a system failure. The recovery management component of database systems ensures the durability of transaction. So these are the four properties. Let's have a recap. A stands for atomicity, all or nothing transaction. Next one, consistency, guarantees committed transaction. That means if all the transactions run concurrently, it will manage us one by one and it guarantees the successful transaction. Then isolation. Transactions are independent. Because of this isolation only, consistency is done efficiently in DBMS. Then durability. Committed data is never lost. Once the account is debited, even though after Two hours or two days, it should be debited only. It should be saved permanently and also it should not affect by any system failures. This is These are the properties that a database management should have. Is it clear children? Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.